Hello guys, in this video we will try to discuss a problem on construction of parabola by using parallelogram method. The question will be something like this. Inscribe a parabola in a parallelogram having 150 mm and 100 mm log and an included angle of 120 degrees. When this is the case, so first we need to construct a parallelogram. Before that, we will generally construct, uh, we'll set the limits for the sheet. So therefore, the limits come in LIMITS press enter 0 comma 0 press enter uh, be, because of the question i am selecting 500 then 500 and and after this z enter a enter then units are to be selected units is in inches i'll change it to millimeters and then press ok after that select ortho mode on select ortho mode on then use line selection uh, select the line command and uh, the question is 150 and 100 so select a line like this which is 150 mm and then while drawing the 100 mm line the internal angle has all to be also to be included that is 100 tab 120 degrees and then tab 120 degrees then this is again 150 mm and then we can close it like this so if there is any doubt beforehand itself you can check it go to the annotate then instead of linear go to the angular and select this line and select this line and check the angle it's very small if you want to increase it you can use dim style dim style and press enter you can go to the modify in the modified is 0.18 change it to some 5 also in the symbols and arrows also change it to some arrow size also you can change it to some 5 and then press ok then close so it is 120 degrees perfectly correct then we will uh, insert it in the last case don't worry about it after that as it is like in the oblong method we can go with the line command and from the midpoint up to the midpoint we draw a line like this you can give the annotations like a b c d e f e f will be the axis and a b c will be the range so after that then as it is like in the oblong method we can select a line from here to here and we can divide it we can divide it but in this case it is not necessary reason is that we need to since it is an angular line we can't use the mirror command like in the oblong method so for this case we need to draw this side also this side so points are to be drawn separately so for that case before uh, changing the division using the division command what should we use p type p type should be used and press enter and this is the case and i'm selecting this one and press ok and I will select this line. Uh, before selecting, I need to press division enter, div enter. And selected this line. Uh, line is not selected correctly. Div enter. Select this line and press some five. I am pressing five and press enter. So these are the five points out. So here also, from half of this also to be divided into five, and remaining half also to be five. So for that case, what I will do is that I will divide this total line into ten points. Easily, it will be finished. So D I V enter and bottom line will be selected with 10 points. It is division, it is divided in this way. And as usual, this side also we can divide it now itself. So D I V enter and select this and select uh, 5 and then press enter. This is how you do. After that, use line command and uh, join these lines individually. And again, you can use the line command and join these things. So after that, here we need to draw the parallel lines for this lens not uh, like in the oblong method we can't draw straight lines we should draw parallel lines uh, that is 120 degrees lines are to be drawn as usual you can select this line and you can press copy command and base point is this i can keep these points or you can copy at these lines in this way in this way and press escape so that it is executed then you can use trim command and you can remove whatever the unnecessary things are there what are the unnecessary things are there that is extended line so that it will look good not uh, instead of uh, many lines it will be good so this is how it will be looking like one two this one should be up to this one so only this should be good so in this way you'll get the points escape after that you can indicate the points p1 enter so this is p1 this is p2 this is p3 this is p4 this is p5 and this is p6 why i said that the mirror command will not work is that uh, i'll show it to you here i'll select the points on the curve and i'll give some color for it this i have given some red color so i'll select all these points 
and select all these points and use mirror command use mirror command and try to mirror it with this so you can see the mirroring is coming along with that uh, uh, whatever the axis is taken that axis is considered as mirror and the points are coming in the other way so this is not correct method so so we have to not use mirror command for that sake we need to divide this other half also so for that sake we have drawn again this side also or we have divided this line also into so that means the process will be same we will draw the lines like this escape and also i'm uh, drawing the lines in this case also in this case also. after this uh, we need to draw again copy command and we need to use instead of that uh, since we have done five and five this side both uh, so this line will be exactly cutting this particular so if you want you can check it that is we can copy select this line and press enter with this base point up to this point if i go exactly it will be cutting at this uh, this line so the point is the line is exactly up to this point because the isometry is there. so you can select this line select this line use uh, copy and instead of this base point you can go up to this point similarly select this line copy instead of this base point up to this base point similarly select this line use base point from this point to this point after that use point command beforehand itself i'm changing the color so first point second point repeat the point command for repeating it what you can use either you can use enter or you can use base point. so once all the points are obtained you can select the polyline or whatever this uh, spline is there, you can select the spline or polyline, I am using polyline in this case and uh, I am joining all the points like this and escape, then you will use PE, enter, polyline, edit, enter and select the polyline, use fit so that it is fit perfectly, then press escape, select this line, give some line weight in the properties toolbar by using this thing, for it to be display, line width display should be on, so this one should be on. So with this the information is fixed. Once this is finished, you have to give the information regarding the dimension. So dimensioning is this line. We know this line. Uh, we know this line. The bottom line. This is from here to here. This is 150 mm. And uh, we know the another thing that is from here to here. But you can see it is not coming 100 and it is coming 80. That means that we can't go linear dimension here. We have to go for the aligned dimension in this case. So go to the annotation, instead of angular go to the aligned dimension and select these two points and drag it like this perfectly will get done. After that go to the angular dimension and in the angular dimension this line and this line angle is known to us. What is that angle? 120 degrees. So after these three are finished then what you can do you can give the names perfectly A, B, C, D and the axis line E, F and if you want you can give color coding for the internal uh, extended lines also or else uh, and in another information is empty enter and we have to give the uh, extension of uh, 4 i am pressing and uh, where is this construction of parabola using pa uh, parallelogram method whatever the question is that i am copying it and i am pasting it here in this way and then press close text editor then zoom extends whatever this line is there i am dragging it like this by using this arrow mark, I'm dragging it here like this, and then use zoom extends again. Then uh, P style uh, that is P type, P type enter, and uh, change it to some three, and then press OK. All the points are obtained perfectly. And if you want, you can even remove this 150.00, 100.00 also. U N I T S. You can press units, and here precision is 0 0.0000 is zero. Instead of that, you can press zero, then press OK. Then uh, these things will be changed in the beginning itself. If you change it, they will be changed. Or else, if you want to change it now, you can go to dim style again. Dim style now and use modify command. Uh, where is this uh, primary units? It is there, no? in the primary units instead of 0 0.0000. If you press 0 and press OK and close, these things will be changed. In this way, you can have it. So, this is a method of construction of parabola by using parallelogram method. All the dimensions are given perfectly, line width is given, parabola is being visible to us perfectly and uh, yes everything is correct. 
so we have to give the information perfectly and in this case then re, the question is regarding uh, mm solely so no need to worry about those things so everything is in under uh, control so perfectly finished so this is how you draw a uh, parabola by using parallelogram method when the information is given regarding axis height the uh, axis range and included angle this is how you get it bye